So I'm looking a little steampunky today. The reason why it is the week of Halloween. And so for this entire week at school, I've been dressing up in some spooky outfits. And the theme for this video will actually be sort of steampunk, which is going to be wireframes. This is something that I made when I was younger, which is a conch shell, and I've been really proud of it, so I kept it. But we're actually going to be making wireframe pumpkins in this video. And the reason why is the Hack a Pumpkin Challenge, which is ran by Young Scientist Probs, ran by my friend Allie Weber, and also partially supported by the Steam Squad, which was co-founded by me and Allie, and also ran with two amazing girls, Taylor Richardson and Jordan Reeves. And it is a group of the top young scientists in the world. Uh, what the Hack a Pumpkin Challenge is, is if you have a, any pumpkin design, you can submit it into the challenge. And the way that you submit is you post a photo or video of your design uh, on Twitter or Instagram with the hashtag Hack a Pumpkin. And this is a real contest. DigiKey actually gives out prizes every year. And so this is going to be my contest submission. So let's get hacking. So for the Hack a Pumpkin contest, it is kind of like a raffle. So it does not matter how good your pumpkin is, anyone can win. And I find that really cool. So I want to see you guys submit your own submissions. I want to see those pumpkins, the good, the bad, and the ugly, or in Halloween standards, the really good ones. So for my own submissions, I have a couple of ideas. But the first thing that I need to do is get some materials for all of them. Alright, so I have this spider part done. Um, as you can see, these lights actually turn on. Um, and my idea has changed since the beginning as I've been building this, and this is a common thing that happens in making. Originally, the cobwebs and the lights were all going to be inside of the body of the spider, but I think I have a better idea, so I'm going to start working on the second half of this, what's going to be a really cool pumpkin. Alright, so as you can see, this is not going so well. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take it all apart, which you guys don't need to see, so I'm not going to be filming that. And then I'm going to start, um, restart over and retry to do this in a different way. 
All right, so that big pumpkin idea didn't really work. What the idea kind of was, was that I was going to make like a basically a big pumpkin house. So there's going to be a door in the front and then there's going to be leaves on the top for like a roof and everything. But as you can see, I ran into a young scientist problem, which is really fitting for a competition that's ran by young scientist probs. Um, but basically what happened was the weight was way too much. Basically what I would have had to have done was like taken two of these and then twist them together like I did with the legs for all of them, but I don't have enough time because Halloween is coming up quick. So instead, I think I have some more ideas. As you notice throughout the video, my ideas have kept changing, which is a, actually a big aspect in making. Originally, I was going to have this spider pumpkin and then I was gonna have a bunch of other pumpkins, like a blue pumpkin for like a sky and then a bunch of other ideas. But I think I'm just gonna stay with the spider one. I'm not giving up on her. So I have another idea of how to make her better. Um, also, there's a few things that I did look up afterwards, like with the eyes. Um, so I'm going to try something with the eyes to see if I can make it more like an actual spider. Also, the hourglass on a Black Widow is actually on its belly. Um, and if I'm able to make it work, because there is another really cool spider that could work with this, um, I will tell you about the spider at the end if I can make it work. So I need to get building to make sure that this gets done. Alright, so here is the finished pumpkin. So the spider that I modeled this of is actually the Southern Black Widow, also known as the Latrodectus Mactans. And so a lot of them actually look different, that's why I had to look up a reference uh, for the white lines. There's some that have white around the red spots, there's the one that I did that has the white lines, and there's a lot of different varieties. Uh, I'm really proud of how this came out, I think this looks really cool. Uh, so this will be my submission for the Hack Pumpkin Challenge. Remember, I want you guys to submit into the Hack a Pumpkin Challenge. And then also, don't forget about Team Trees. So, as I'm going to be doing this, I'm going to be putting leaves with each fact that I talk about with Team Trees. So, with Team Trees, we are trying to get a goal of $20 million to plant 20 million trees. And for that, you can donate to teamtrees.org, which is a... Um, so teentrees.org, which we actually got to 10 million. Um, you can also donate on YouTube as well, on uh, multiple different videos. There's a donation site here on YouTube. Um, there's actually, there was a huge commotion. Uh, Elon Musk actually donated $1 million, which is really cool. But I want you guys to donate to Team Trees so that we can reach 20 million and we can plant 20 million trees. And also, please watch all the other Team Trees videos that are here on YouTube. So I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys donate to Team Trees and remember to watch all the other videos about Team Trees and also check out all the other Hack a Pumpkin submissions. It's Hack a Pumpkin. Happy Halloween. <laughs>